right now we're going to work on more lethal techniques in this black belt class. Understand something. If you have no choice and you have to put somebody down, especially when you get older and you're walking around, you're on a college campus, you're somewhere where you can't carry a weapon, you can't carry a gun, you can't carry a knife, and all of a sudden you attack quickly and you need to get somebody off you fast. You're feeling a little ill, you're a little injured. A pen makes a great weapon. We've done this before in our class. Okay, I call it popping the cap. So from here, we need a phone guy so we don't cause any severe damage to anybody. Mr. Karen's gonna hold this. So from here, all of a sudden, it's gonna be pop my cap and thrust into the throat or into the eyes. Just like that. Straight into the throat guys. It's that fast, that quick. While you toss me a cap, what is it? From here I have my pen. People, some people will use keys, jam in the throat, jam in the eyes, especially young girls. If you're sitting here and you got a bigger attacker on you, he's stronger, he's bigger, your hands are up, simply pop that cap. That cap's off, taking that pen, jam it straight into the throat, into the eyes. That's going to find enough time for you to get away, definitely. Once it enters the throat, it's jammed in there a little bit, enter the gateway of the eye. Does it sound severe? Does it sound gross and nasty? Well, understand something. <clears throat> when I'm training you guys and girls, I'm not training you so much as a victim protecting yourselves. I'm thinking, what is this attacker? How is he going to come up? He's going to come up to you fast. He's going to grab you, especially the girls. He's not going to play. He's going to want to do nasty things to you. You can't do certain things, and you happen to have a pen. Everybody can carry a pen. Pop it off. Remember, I'm not thinking as the victim. I'm thinking how the attacker is going to do. What's he going to do to you once he gets you down? He's going to rape you. He's going to murder you. He's going to do nasty things. <clears throat> In a martial arts school, it's about discipline, focus, and control. Well, let me explain something to you. And we have all that honor, all that discipline, all that. But the minute you hit that door and walk out in the real world, there's no discipline, there's no honor. That's thrown out the window. The world's a savage place sometimes. And unfortunately, sometimes we have to defend ourselves. Well, carrying something like a pen will do the trick. I'm going to enter the throat. I'm going to make them gag. I'm going to tear into the throat. I'm going to enter the gateway of the eye. I'm going to get that attacker off me as fast as I can. So a pen with a pencil might break. Pen might break too, but it's going to hold off a lot better than a pencil. Pencil is going to snap. Okay, simple pen. If I have one that's just a click it, click it and stick it right there. Boom. If I have one here, just remember, pop the cap, thrust, thrust, right into the face. 